Hi, I'm Jude Curtin Darling, Labour MEP for the North East of England. I'm a Quaker, I'm actively involved in European policy. One of the reasons why I'm actively involved in European policy is because fundamentally at its root the European Union is a peace process. It's a process of bringing 28 countries around a single negotiating table, whereas in the past, for centuries and centuries, every 20 years, we fought our neighbours on the battlefields of Europe. We sacrificed millions of young people um, as cannon fodder and in brutal warfare. Today, the very different cultures that meet around Europe resolve their differences around a negotiating table, including tables in this house today. We're in the midst of the largest refugee crisis that we've seen since the Second World War. It's demanding an enormous amount of compassion, of understanding, of intercultural tolerance of Europeans. It's demanding that we rise above ourselves and that we reach out to the other and for me that's fundamentally a key part of the peace process. Many people who are engaged in the EU referendum project say but it's because of NATO that we have peace in Europe but I always reply to them that it's because of NATO that we don't have guns on the streets of Western Europe but it's peace process is far more than the absence of guns. A peace process is a process of just negotiation and on all of the questions where member states across Europe feel that they have a common concern, a common challenge and they need to address things collectively, it's at our negotiating tables that that is addressed. Whether it's the refugee crisis that we see today, rising instability around our borders in the Middle East and on the eastern border, we as a continent stand really at a crossroads. And while we stand in this very turbulent time, we in the UK have a key um, part in whether the European Union continues in the future or whether it disintegrates under the pressure of all of these various crises and, and tragedies that we're witnessing. We'll be voting in a referendum this year probably before the summer holidays this year, people across the UK will decide whether we stay in the EU or we leave the EU. And I would really like Quakers to actively engage in that discussion. I personally will be campaigning and voting to remain in the EU and primarily for five key reasons. The European Union is a redistribution project. The European budget spreads from the wealthier regions and from the wealthier countries to the poorer regions and to the poorer countries and there are beneficiaries inside the UK and I think that's fundamentally also part of a Quaker ministry about social justice, that redistribution um, agenda. That investment that we get from the European Union is crucial in terms of jobs and high quality jobs across the UK. These are jobs which we really can't afford to lose. So for me, it's about investment, it's about jobs, but jobs have to be good quality jobs. And over the last uh, 30 years, since the launch of the single market, we've seen the development of workers' rights across the European Union, rights around health and safety at work, around equal pay and engagement with workers in the workplace, information and consultation, rights for the most vulnerable workers um, in our labour market, particularly women workers and young people. And I don't believe that it's in our best interest to withdraw from the EU. We as a country need to address climate change and we can't address climate change by ourselves. The European Union has been crucial in terms of the development of EU environmental legislation. I know that personally because one of the reasons why I got involved in the EU was when I was nine years old the government proposed to put three toxic waste incinerators on the north banks of the Teagues opposite my hometown of Middlesbrough and my mum who was a very dedicated 
mother of four, wasn't keen on her young children breathing in the pollution from these toxic waste incinerators. So together with other campaigners, she launched an, a call for a public inquiry. They got the public inquiry. They had a campaign which had the extremely sexy title of Stink, Stop Toxic Waste Incinerators in Cleveland. Their public inquiry was successful. And during the public inquiry, they realized that the UK government had violated EU environmental protection legislation, had not undertaken taken the impact assessment necessary to place those toxic waste incinerators in Cleveland. And so my mum picked up my school bag, a big red school bag at the time, and with my dad they went off to Brussels and they got a meeting with the European Environment Commission. Commission. Now, the result of one housewife from Middlesbrough, as the multinational companies involved called my mum, one housewife from Middlesbrough going to Brussels, taking the case, fighting for her local community, showed me that the European Union isn't just about big business. It's not just a big capitalist club. It's possible to work for local communities, to work for people, to push for that just negotiation, to resolve conflict at all levels if there is the political will to do it. And I strongly believe that we as a country have to be at the table negotiating in the spirit of peaceful, just resolutions of the differences between countries, finding common solutions to our common challenges and not walking away from the table, not shouting from the sidelines or throwing strops in council meetings. We have to be a mature partner right at the heart of Europe, directing this project and showing why those visionaries in the 1940s and 50s, including many British um, ex-servicemen who'd fought in world wars, why they were right to engage with creating the European Union and why my generation and your generation now have a responsibility to really hold that together, to defend our place in Europe, to go out and to campaign for a Remain vote. Thanks very much for listening.